and I'm back for some more mommy talk and some more mommy tips. Today we're going to be discussing how kids affect finances. This is a great subject and I've got a lot of information to share. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that button and subscribe now and don't forget to hit the bell so that you get all your updates about every time I post. I'm actually going to be posting now Monday, Wednesdays and ta-da! And Fridays now. I just added on another day just because I want to make sure I'm giving you all continued content. So Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Boom. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. How kids affect finances. Let's get into it. When planning for kids, there are some things that you should know that I did not know even when I started. And this is why I wanted to do this video so we can go ahead and get into how to prepare financially for kids because they will affect your finances. One is that being that you need to plan and prepare. I, with my first son, he was one of those uh-oh pregnancies, did not get a chance to pl plan and prepare with him, but I did with my second son, and it just made the whole process way more smoother. So I would say to plan and prepare, with the first thing being insurance. Understanding your insurance plan, understanding what they offer, what they're going to pay, their percentages, and all those things. A lot of people do not even think about um, insurance and hospital and doctor bills and all those things, but that is a vital, valuable role that is going to come into play when you have kids. Um, that is something that I got hit with hard, and luckily... I was on my husband's insurance, my parents' insurance, and the hospital that I actually went through um, offered a charity program that also helped me to knock down those um, doctor bills. So look into your insurance and find out what your insurance pays, the percentages, and what all they offer, and the hospital. Call the hospital, find out what they offer, find out the the whatever things that they that they may have different than other hospitals look around do your research and make sure that you check out all those things next thing would absolutely be save 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 start understanding the process of saving saving is not putting in a savings account and taking out whenever you need it no that is saving meaning put it up and don't ever even think about it and that is what is needed when you have kids it's a great savings account now i know a lot of people are not blessed to be able to just save in abundance that's not my story i'm not able to save hundreds and hundreds of dollars every month but every little bit helps and any little bit that you can put up is going to be it's going to be a help later on in the future when you least expect it so save 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 how many kids do you want let's first start there preparing for one child is completely different than preparing for four kids. Even though I know they're going to come in stages, but still per having your mind adjusted to how many children you want. And that might actually even change once you have one because not being a mom and then becoming a mom and preparing to be, be a mom of future children is it's a whole different mindset. So once you have your first one, that might change. But at least go into it saying, okay, I think I might want one. I think I might want just two. I actually want a big family. I want five kids, you know? My husband and I, we want four. So we're, we got two down, we got two more to go. But we're preparing mentally for that. When, I, when I'm saying prepare for how many you want, understanding your house situation, your housing. Do you want a house? Do you want an apartment? Kids, they grow up and it gets real, real bumpy in space. So you wanna make sure that you have enough space, that you wanna make sure you have enough room. You wanna make sure that, that you can afford your living space. Um, and it, with also having that many kids. So let's just think about the question, how many kids do I want? What all will you need to have kids? Now this is a question that is, can go back and forth because you're gonna have to learn how to differentiate between a need and a want. Needs, diapers, wipes, a car seat, a stroller. Those are things that you're gonna need. Wants, a diaper genie, um, a baby bathtub, um, a changing table. Those things are not necessarily essential because what you're going to find out is that you're going to end up changing the baby on the couch, on the floor, um, on the bed. You're probably really never going to use your um, changing table. Now, for some moms who do, I'm not knocking that. But what I'm saying is go into it understanding what you're going to need and what you want so that you don't find yourself wasting money on things that you're never going to use. And then when 
things come up that you need, you spend a hundred, two hundred dollars on a changing table that you're not going to use. Diaper genies, just throw them away. Just take them out in the dump, just throw them away. That's fifty dollars that you can just save. So understand what you're going to need. I, my advice is to go to Babies R Us, go to the kids' stores, and look around. See what you need, see what you like, see what you don't want, see what you do want, see what you would like to have. Make out a list and, and start combining the list and, 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 and saving for those things. That's what's going to be help you out the most. That's what's going to, that's what helped me out the most. That's what I did. Went in the store, asked some people to kind of help me, the, the workers. Do you need this? Do you not? Research, look online, see what, you, see what you're going to need and what you don't need just to make sure that you're not wasting money. Do you want to stay at home or do you want to continue to be a working mom and put your kids in daycare? Now, when I had my first son, once I had him, going back to work was never even an option. Um, I wanted to stay home with him. That's always my um, go-to, my preferred plan is to stay home. Be a stay-at-home mom and raise your own children. Now, I know that you have moms out there that are working moms and love being a working mom. I am not knocking being a working mom because there are some financial pros to that. But if you're going to be a working mom, just make sure you do your research on your daycares and all those things because it's just a lot going on with daycares and you don't want to put your children in a position where they're harmed or where they're not being cared for the best way possible. Nobody's going to take care of your kids the way you do. So you want to make sure that they at least meet that standard that you have set for your kids to be cared for. Now, I stay home with my children. That is a sacrifice. I'm actually going to be doing a video on how to become a stay-at-home mom and the, trans the transitions and the sacrifices that have to be made in order to do that because there are pros, but there are also a lot of cons to staying home with your children So it, that affect finances. Hence the video, how kids affect finances. So decide whether you want to stay at home or whether you want to put your children in daycare. That's going to be a big money saver or money spender. Now, out of everything that we have discussed, it's about setting a plan and preparing for kids because financially, all these things are going to come into play and you want to make sure that you have a plan and that you are prepared. But with that being said, do not be married to your plan and to your preparation before having children because I have had to learn the hard way that things come up things happen unexpectedly that you do not prepare for and you just don't want to be in a position where your whole world is crushed because your plan got whacked out of out of place hence being for me one example is my first son Carson he was a huge baby huge and he was growing out of clothes and shoes like weeds and I did not prepare to have to buy clothes so soon I had my baby shower and I thought I was ready boy I, I was I had stuff washed I had stuff folded I had stuff in place and he came out and he couldn't even fit half the stuff that we got so I'm like prepare to have your stuff yes but just be don't be so married to it another example my second son mouse he came six weeks early Six weeks, I tell you. He was supposed to come in October. He came at the top of September. And my husband and I had prepared to have him off for so many weeks and everything was taken care of financially. But when he came, I ended up having to have a C-section. Didn't know I was going to have to be out for six weeks. So he had to take out an extra two weeks of vacation time just to be there with me to be able to take care of my second, I mean, my oldest son. And that just put us in a whole other place financially luckily we had great family we had great friends and we had a great um, church and community around us that really helped us get through that situation so all I'm saying is prepare and plan but don't be so married to it where you're thrown out thrown out of whack if things come up is things life happens and things things just come up okay um, you're gonna have things like once you have once you get pregnant you're gonna have concerns like special needs a lot of moms go through that um, that very challenging um, place where you have to have to deal with having a special needs child um, and the Lord will give you grace to handle that situation if it comes up uh, but just don't go into it thinking you know oh I'm gonna be good everything's gonna you just never know never know you might pop up and be pregnant with twins prepare for it you know what I'm saying you're gonna have tons of unexpected expenses so plan prepare save as much as you can but also have an open mind and understand that things come up Life happens and it may not always go the way you think it's going to go. All right, mommies.
that's all I've got for today. How kids affect finances. I hope this video was informational and I hope you learned a lot. Please leave comments down in the comment section below asking any questions that you may have concerning this video and I will be sure to get back to each and every one of them. Do not forget to subscribe. Click that subscribe button that is to the right of your screen and don't forget to hit the bell to get your updates on when I post. I'm going to be posting every Monday, Wednesday, and now Friday. So just make sure that you tune in to get this great mommy information, okay? And if your kids haven't told you today, like I always do, you are a great mom and they appreciate all that you do. And please remember, a woman who fears the Lord, her children will rise up and call her blessings. Have a great day.